All right, guys, right now I am on Spirit Halloween Tour 2023, filming Spirit Halloween stores in every state across the entire country. So I filmed a store in Salt Lake City, Utah, and while I was there, I bought this little guy, Jabberin' Jack. Today we're going to take a look at him and see exactly what he does and if he was worth the money. He was only 35 bucks, so I'm thinking it's going to be a yes. So let's take a look at the box here. We have Jabberin' Jack. Now this one appears to be a white pumpkin. I've seen a lot of these and they're usually orange like a jack-o'-lantern would be, but it appears that this one is going to be white. So let's take a look at the box here. There's this little thing up here that you can scan for a demo, which I did. It shows you a little video online of how this guy acts. He has a built-in speaker. It says, brings Jack to life with vocals and music. Short throw projector, which means there's a little projector built in on the inside that actually projects this face onto the inside of the pumpkin, but we see it from the outside. Projects three animated faces onto the pumpkin. Now over here it says, 70 minutes of custom animations, spooky, funny, traditional animated pumpkin faces, and it shows the three different faces that it will project onto that pumpkin. On the top here it says, spooky, traditional, funny, 70 minutes of talking, singing, and joking. Now I did watch that demo video, but it was still kind of unclear whether or not the vocals and the music and the voice actually comes from this pumpkin, or if you have to plug something else into him. So that's something else we're going to find out as we unbox this guy. Built-in speaker, short throw projector, custom animations, plug and play. So there's one of the faces. As we turn it around, we see another one of the faces. And there's the third kind of face right there. Now on the back of the box, it gives us a little bit more of a detailed description. Up here it says there's a built-in speaker. It appears to be on the top somewhere. We have volume and skip buttons apparently up here. He is 11 inches tall. Right here it talks about that projector that is embedded inside. Easy to operate on and off. So there's apparently an on-off button on the back of the pumpkin. We've got a description over here. It says Jabber and Jack provides singing, talking, and joking great for indoor or outdoor decorating okay that's good to know includes three unique character themes and custom animated content short throw projector provides 70 minutes of fun animations comes with skip and volume buttons built-in speaker brings jack to life plugs into any outlet using a usb cable included and a power adapter that is not included which is kind of strange and a little disappointing because you really want something like this to come ready to use you should just be be able to plug it in and go but instead it comes with a cable and you have to find a usb power adapter now we all have cell phones so i do have one but honestly i hate when new products rely on that they should all come with their own plug okay here's a couple little pieces of good information here it says there's a still mode where you can just turn his face on he won't do any animations he won't make any sounds he'll just sit there and look like an awesome jack-o'-lantern or you can turn him on and 70 minutes of video will continue on a loop until turned off manually there is no timer on Jabber and Jack. So if he has 70 minutes of built-in animations and entertainment, then that's just going to play on a loop until you manually push the button to turn it off. So according to that, you could set him out front on Halloween and just let him play over and over and over until you're ready to turn him off. All right, let's go ahead and get him out of the box here. I'm curious, and yes, he is a white pumpkin. Honestly, I didn't think about it. I didn't even think to look if there were orange ones in the store. I just grabbed one that was sitting there. Here he is. He's actually more of like a clear than white. Oh, uh, let's see. We have instructions. And we have, oh, that's his stem right there. And here is the USB cord. So here's my receipt from Spirit. He was $35, like I said earlier. And if you have the 20% off coupon, that's gonna bring it down by about another seven bucks. So 28 bucks plus tax and you can get your own Jabber and Jack. I can't imagine that anything he's gonna do is make me go, man, this guy was not worth 28 bucks. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get him out of the plastic here. Okay, so this is what he looks like right here. So like I said, he's white, but he's more of like a clear plastic. In fact, I'm kind of wondering if he's going to light up orange instead of white. 
We do have the speaker on the top. We have the volume and the skip buttons up here. On the back is where we plug him in and the power button here. And it appears that he has two more speakers on the back here as well. So I think this is probably pretty self-explanatory to set up. But let's go ahead and look at these uh, directions here. We have our adapter. We have our power cord. We have the stem, which I don't think actually does anything. Except connect to the top and make it look more like a pumpkin. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Let's go ahead and get him plugged in here. Turn him on. Okay, let's t look at that. <laughs> let's turn up the volume. So obviously he's not saying anything at the moment. Happy Halloween. Look at the faces he's making. That's hilarious. And I do love how you can see the candle in his mouth there. Come on, give us a big smile. Look at that. I'm That's cool. I to myself to watch the leaves fall and wait for the trick-or-treaters to come and go in their scary costumes and eat all the candy. I love this, guys. This is so cool already. And he hasn't even begun telling jokes or singing or anything like that. He's just making random faces, and then every once in a while he starts talking. You're in for a treat. This neighborhood always has the best candy. That is so cool. I love it already. Even before I see anything else, I can definitely say he was worth the money. I saw lots of scary costumes last year. They were all, how should I put it, spectacular. I hope I see something even scarier this year. Okay, so let's see here. We have the volume down and the volume up button. And there's haunted a... houses. Haunted graveyards. Haunted woods. Man, everything is haunted this time of year. Even this street. So there's a skip button up here. I'm going to sing my favorite Halloween songs. Okay, here we go. I'm going to sing my favorite Halloween songs. I won't be there for dinner Cause I am no pumpkin pie Or shot out from a cannon Flying through the sky I am a scary pumpkin Jack-o-lantern, jack-o-lantern Spooky and unnerving <laughs> Okay, that is cool. Silent face mode. Silent face mode. So if you hit the skip button on top, it changes between each one. So we had where he just randomly talks, and then we have uh, the singing mode, and then we have this one here where it's just a silent face. He doesn't make any sounds. He doesn't talk. It just goes through, like, the different kinds of faces. Okay. You and your scary movies. Different voices, what will you too. Do when a real monster comes for you tonight? I wonder if this is going to be like a copyright issue on the channel. Silent face mode. Okay, so we got it back on silent face mode. Um, it says still mode. Give Jabber and Jack a decorative look by entering into still mode. Jack will not run any animation, but instead will maintain a still face. Press and hold the plus and minus buttons simultaneously for three seconds. Okay, so we hold both of these for three seconds. I wonder if it just stops on whatever face is on there. Let's try it. Okay, so there. Yeah, okay, so if you hold it down for three seconds and you it kind of cycles through the faces, you hold it down and then you let go when it gets to the face you want it to freeze on. The only thing is, when it's frozen on the face, I notice that the candle inside is not, like, flickering. So, yeah, so whenever you take your fingers off of those two buttons, it freezes on whatever face it was on. So, push them again, and it starts up again. Okay, so, I'd have to say, guys, after looking at this, after hearing it, after going through some of the things that it can do, it was definitely worth the money. 35 bucks total. Unless you use your coupon, then you get it for 28 and of course, there's going to be tax on top of that. But this guy is totally awesome. Let me shut out the lights a minute, and let's see how he looks with the lights off. Yeah, look at that. That is actually pretty cool. 
Let me go and hit head and hit a button up here. Um, I will say this though. I was wondering if he was going to light up orange, and obviously the inside is orange, but the outside is still white. Had I thought about it in the store, I definitely would have looked to see if they had orange ones, but it really doesn't matter because if you're using this the way you're supposed to, it's going to be dark outside anyway. Okay, so I have him back on silent face mode. This guy is totally awesome. There he is, and like I said, 35 bucks, guys, and yeah, he was well worth it. So here's what I'm going to do, guys. We got to do the unboxing over here and kind of get an idea of what he does. I'm going to put a link below to my other Halloween channel. It's called That Nate Guy on Halloween, and you guys can come over there. I'm going to put up a video here of the complete... 70 minute animation that he does and as far as i understand that's going to be like the talking telling jokes singing everything for 70 minutes straight i'll put that link down in the comments i'll pin it at the top so you guys can find it easily click that go on over to my other channel and subscribe and then you'll be able to see a video of the entire 70 minute routine that this guy goes through